Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on how to connect data using CSV data connectors in bold reports. In this video, we will see how to connect and retrieve data from a data source using a CSV data connector, and how to integrate the retrieved data into a table report item. First, let's create a new report. Create a new report, and name it CSV data report. You can see how to create your first report in another video. I have provided a link to it in this video's description, for your convenience. Now let's create a data source using a CSV data connector. Click the data icon in the configuration panel. Click the new data button. In the data sources configuration panel, choose the CSV connection type. The name field represents the name for the data source. I provide the data source name as user details. The type field represents the type of data source, from which the data is given as input. There are two types from which CSV data can be given as input. The file type means that a CSV file can be given as input. The maximum file size allowed is 20 megabytes. Bold reports only supports .csv formats. The external type means that, the CSV data can be loaded from an external link. So, for this demo, I choose the file type. I click the Browse button. And upload the file. If you want the first row to be the header, leave that option enabled. It's enabled by default. The separator option allows you to choose the delimiter, with which to separate the values in the CSV files. Bold Report supports the following separators, comma, space, tab, semicolon, and custom. If you choose custom as the separator, the delimiter field will be displayed, where you can enter the delimiter value. For this demo I choose the separator value comma. Then, I click the connect button. The query designer page will open. The query designer contains a schema area. Query designer surface. Toolbar. And preview area. The query designer surface is where you set up queries. It features both graphical and text-based modes to create SQL queries easily. I change the name field value to users dataset. I drag and drop the user details from the schema area to the query designer. To preview the table, I click generate preview. The preview of the user details will be displayed in the table. Click the finish button. And the database will be created. If you expand the data set, you will see the fields in the data set displayed. Now let's add a data source using the external type. Click the data icon in the configuration panel. Click the new data button. In the data sources configuration panel, choose the CSV connection type. I enter the data source name as employee details. For this demo, I choose external in the type field. Then I enter the sample online URL link in the external field. The first row is enabled as the header. And comma is selected as the separator field value. Then I click the connect button. The query designer page will open. I change the name field value to employee dataset. I drag and drop the result from the schema area to the query designer. To preview the table, I click Generate Preview. The preview of the employee details will be displayed in the table. Click the Finish button. And the database will be created. If you expand the data set, you will see the fields in the data set displayed. Now let's add a table report item and assign values. Drag and drop the table report item from the item panel to the design area. Add the necessary columns required. Assign values to the header row. 
and format the row. Assign values to the data row and format them. To preview the report, click the preview button in the top panel. You will see the values are retrieved from the database and displayed in the table report item. In this video, you have learned how to create a data source using the CSV data connector and how to add retrieve data in the table report item in bold reports. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.